Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to another Call of Duty Vanguard video. Today we are back with another live gameplay and today we are going to be doing a little bit of a different video. We're going to do the same sort of live gameplay that we always do, except today we are going to be talking about every the control or the Vanguard control freak weapon sort of weapon pack. And for those, those of you guys who don't know what control freaks are, they're basically little extensions that go into your control. I'll actually send you guys a picture right now or put a put a picture up on screen right now of my PlayStation 5 controller with the control freaks that I use. Obviously, I have the one a control freak on the left and the right on the left. I have the Omni, which doesn't add any any length to your controller. It basically just gives you extra grip. I like using it because, you know, with the base PlayStation stick, I used to not use one on the left, but ever since I started doing that, I've just really enjoyed it. I mean, the left stick on the play on any controller that you have is just used for moving, but I just like having that extra grip on my controller and just feeling, it just feels better on my thumb because this PlayStation 5 and the uh, PlayStation 4 and even the Xbox regular analog sticks are just a little bit too small for me. And I just prefer to have the bigger thumb sticks. On the right though, I have the Vanguard Control Freak, which is what this whole video is about. And the Vanguard Control Freak looks very, very cool. Again, an image was probably already off the screen, but you guys could see what my Vanguard Control Freak was. But what the Vanguard Control Freak does is it's sort of like a concave convex mixture. So it's concave, but it's also it's not as deep as some of my other Control Freaks. Other Control Freaks that I do use are the uh, FPS Freak Inferno. That's the one that I mainly use before I got the Vanguard ones. But yeah, so that's basically what they're used for. And the tall one, basically extends your range to be able to be more accurate which i do explain uh here in a little bit but yeah again i really really like them again this isn't a sponsored video by any means or anything like that i just like them and i use them and i've been using them since 2014 around advanced warfare's life cycle so they're really really useful and i really do like them they've improved my accuracy massively in call of duty it was it's actually crazy um but also what comes with the vanguard control freaks is this little guy here the the that's not what it's called. It's not called the Lucky Cat Weapon Charm. But anyways, it comes with a weapon charm, which you guys can see right here, which is the Control Freak logo with a World War II helmet on. And I love this, this weapon charm. It is just so awesome. I use it on all of my classes here because it just looks so cool. And I just love it. And that's what comes with the Vanguard Control Freaks. The, the Vanguard Control Freaks are a little bit more pricey. They're $20 or so right now versus the normal price, which is like $10 to $15. Um... So a little bit pricier, but again, I think it's worth it with the little weapon charm that you get on top of the use. I mean, these control freaks last forever. I had to just, I just bought new control freaks. Again, as I said, I bought them in 2014. I probably lost one or two along the way, but I bought them this year, this past year in 2020. So they last a very, very long time. And yeah. So anyways, guys, now that that is all out of the way, that was a little bit longer than I thought it would be. I'll probably have some gameplay on screen while I talk about them because again, I don't want to waste your guys' time or just having a view of the image. Uh, but anyways, now we're gonna go ahead and get into the class here for this gameplay. Today we are going to be using the NZ-41, which is one of the more underrated assault rifles in the game, believe it or not. It just takes a little bit of skill to use and and it does take a lot of ranking up. And trust me, when I was ranking this thing up, I said, oh my God, this gun's terrible. But now that I have it to the max rank, it's actually pretty dang good. So anyways, for my first attachment here, I have the F8 stabilizer. Then I have for the barrel, the Ravenwood 480 millimeter number two. Then I have the Ravenwood Mid Iron Number One Iron Sights. Then I have the Orb Weaver E Pack for the stock. The M1930 Strife Angled Grip. The 8mm Clouser 30 Round Mags. The Lengthened Ammo Type. The Grooved Grip. And then finally for the Proficiency, I have Pinned. And last but not least for the kit, I have Fully Loaded. So, anyway, guys, uh, that is the class. I'm also rocking the. Uh, mosaic camo, which looks pretty cool. For the secondary, I've gone for the machine pistol. For my perks, I've gone for cold blooded radar and lightweight cold blooded, obviously. So I stay off of that high alert, which is one of my biggest uh, struggles in this game. I die by people who are using high alert all the time. Cold blooded takes us off of that. It also makes you invisible to uh, air kill streaks which is awesome. Uh, I've, I've gone for radar for my perk two, which of course helps me stay off the rate or shows enemy shots on the radar, which is super, super useful. And then finally for my perk three lightweight, pretty much, pretty much use this all the time. And I'll probably never, ever take it off. Just makes you so speedy. <coughs> and I absolutely love that. 
For the lethal, I've gone for the frag grenade, and finally for the tactical, I've gone for the stim, which is pretty awesome. For the streaks, I've gone, once again gone for the same streaks that I used in the last live gameplay, which is the spy plane, the bombers, and finally the flame knot. So anyway, guys, hopefully we can update the gameplay and do pretty well, and I'll see you guys all there. I right, guys, and welcome into the game. We joined a little bit of a late game here on Numa Numa, but what is it? That's just the story of Call of Duty these days. Most of the games I join are late, but we're rocking the control freak guy, as you guys can see. Which is pretty awesome. Hopefully we can do well here. But yeah, again, since since the SBMM has become this really strict in Call of Duty, it just every you know since you know Modern Warfare 2019 is what I should say. That's when the SBMM started to get really strict. I join more late games than I join games that haven't started, which is the complete opposite in pretty much every other game that I play. And every other Call of Duty game. You know, Black Ops Cold War, you guys remember, almost every game I joined was late. Which is unfortunate, but it's unfortunately just the way that things are. And, you know, just deal with it. I also play tactical pacing pretty much exclusively in this game, and that's probably a big part of it. But, again, really, really like the little control freak guy there. And, I, I mean, I bought the Vanguard control freaks just for that. I usually use the, I can't remember what they're called, honestly, but it, I'm sure in the intro I probably mentioned to you guys what the control freaks that I use are, usually, but I do like the, the Vanguard control freaks quite a bit, and again, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, I did mention that in the beginning, I've just been using them for a very, very long time, and I thought I would share with you guys the Vanguard control freaks and what you can get with them. Okay, let me wait for these guys to come through here. Because we are one away from a flame knot. There is the flame knot. Beautiful. And we died. I had to reload, though. I probably could have gotten away with just laying prone and then reloading. But, oh well. No big deal. Okay, let's see if we can get on this objective. We are so close to getting it as well. We got it, though. That's all that matters is that we got it. Nice, there's one guy down. Dang, couldn't get couldn't get another person with that. Hopefully my bombers will get another kill. I really hope so anyway. Yes, defended it. Beautiful. Another guy up there, and nice. Four kills total with the bombers. I'll take it. Now it's time for the Time for the flame not action. We're gonna Mostly play in the cave here for this little kill streak. Losing objective able. Dang it, they're all the way over at A. That sucks. See ya. Wouldn't want to be out. There's one kill. I'm gonna keep track. Let's see. This was a nine kill streak, so I'm gonna try and get no less than five kills with this thing. Wow, that guy almost killed me all the way. I'm so sorry, dog. I'm so sorry. I feel guilty every time I do that. I'm not going to lie. No, we only got... Was that three kills with that? That was rough. But it's fine, you know? We were able to get at least some kills with it. I do like the flame knot. It's probably my one of my more favorite streaks in the entire game. Come on. That corner's not going to save you, buddy. Okay, let's see if there's any more guys over here. But again, I just like to share what I use when I play games specifically Call of Duty, because Control Freaks, I mean, I use them when I play single-player games, but they're way less useful. They're really good for, for they're pretty much mainly used for first-person shooters. I mean, the one that I do have on the left, um, on the left stick is good for er anything, but, you know, the one that I have on the right, the higher, higher stick, is what you use for, um, is what you use for, you know, getting, for playing first-person shooters and stuff that improves your accuracy. It basically improves, as far as I know, it improves your, 
your I mean it improves your length on on the stick which makes your aim more precise I'm not really sure how that works exactly but you know what I'm not a scientist who create or an engineer who created these I'm just someone who uses them and I know that they work because before I used them I've been using them since 2014 I believe around advanced warfare's life cycle what I remember is that you know I mean all I do know is that they do work and they work really really well I mean before I started using them I was an okay player but you know once I started using them though it like moved me up to being a good player. I mean, like in in Cold War, for example, I have I think I'm in the top uh, three percent of players for accuracy, and it's because of the control freaks. When I don't use them, I can still be accurate, but it just I'm not as accurate as when I do use them. So they really do, they do they really do work, and I really like them. And then you know the Vanguard ones having this cool cool little bonus is definitely something that is pretty dang awesome. Go ahead and get that person down, and reload. Teammates, please help. Go ahead and heal real quick. Nice. Okay, we can win this game. We just got to defend B. I'm going to try my best to defend B here. Nice. There's more people down. The trick to this NZ-41 is you have to read the description of it. In the description, it says... A weapon that starts out with low recoil and then it moves higher. So, so as you... Okay, this isn't going to work, teammate. We're going to have to figure this out. But see what I mean about the recoil? This guy has no idea. <laughs> that guy didn't even have... Didn't even know either. Go, go, grenade. That's going to that's have to be the best grenade of my life. Damn it, didn't hit him. Go ahead and get that guy, and I'm going to run. Get that guy off of A as well. This is actually really unfortunate here. We really need to get B. Okay, run. Run, 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 run. Let's leave that guy alone. Oh my goodness. That was close. Beautiful. I'm just patrolling this area here. <laughs> I'm trying my best, man. I really want to win this game. But, oh, but we have two objectives. What am I even worried about? We have two objectives. Don't even need to be worried. Ooh. Oh my god. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Do you see that kick? Got him. Beautiful. Yes, we're pulling out the comeback here. I mean... Really? Okay. Not really sure... How I lost that gunfight there, but teammates, there's guys on A. Did you not realize that? Good job. You know what? It works. It works for sure. I mean, heck, they can... Run, get inside, get inside, get inside. I have 10 shots. Beautiful, that's enough. Yes, let's go, man. Fury kill. Let me help my teammates out on B. And I'm shot in the back, of course. Of course. Come on, man. We gotta get B right now. Oh my gosh, the fact that I got that kill is the most amazing thing of my of this gameplay. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, I'm literally doing everything by myself here. We can still win. We can still win. We can still win. We just have to hold two objectives. We just have to hold two objectives. Come on. If my math is correct, anyway, we should be able to win. But if they get B, we're screwed. No, I keep dying. Come on. 
Come on. No, they got it. And that's going to be the game. We tried, though. We tried. I got 56 kills. Five captures. I joined the game late and did my best to carry our team to the win. But unfortunately, it just was not meant to be. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video using the NZ41 as well as rocking with the the new control freak um, control freak weapon charm here in game and also using the vanguard control freak but I do want to wait here to see the KD just in case we didn't get above a 2 but I'm sure we got well above a 2 maybe even a 3 we'll have to see here we got, did get a couple of deaths at the end there but it looks like we got ourselves a 56 and 17 gameplay which I know for a fact is above a 3 maybe even close to a 4 um, so anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this gameplay. If you guys did like reading, it's always appreciated. If you want to check out any of my previous live gameplays, they will all be linked down below in the playlist in the description, as well as one of my previous Vanguard videos will be at the end of the video as well. I'll see you guys all another Call of Duty Vanguard video very, very soon.